Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's day two for Lucy here in the wasteland. We just woke up from a night's sleep in our fresh new bed. And having done that, we now find that we have this well-rested perk. So we get 10% more XP for a limited time after a great sleep. So while we're doing this, there's a few things that you want to do every morning when you first wake up. And one of those is to do all of your cooking and all of your crafting. Oh, how did I mention? Let's go ahead and get that. One thing I did miss, I've gone back and scrapped the town off camera. If we go back to this house right here with the skeleton in the window, I missed a safe. So let's go ahead and open the safe. Nice. Nice is right. We get some good stuff out of that safe and level up so let's look at what level up looks like I'm gonna go ahead and go to the pit boy and you can see down there at the bottom there is your menu for leveling up now you can eat every time you level up you can either add a point to any of your special stats or you can pick one of these perks now as you can see, since we have a strength of three, we can only go down to tier three on the strength line. See how that one's grayed out. So, to be Lucy, and in Lucy's voice, wow, I'm really getting the hang of this lock picking. I never had to pick a lock in the vault. Nothing was locked behind access that we weren't supposed to be at. So now that I'm getting kind of good at this, I think I'm going to add a little bit of skill. I can now pick advanced locks. That being said, remember, there were a few that eluded us earlier, and one of them was behind the prepper's house here. Yes. Yes is right. More ammo. Shotgun shells. Excellent. Oh, and directly, as soon as you come out of the root cellar, if you look directly to the north, there are some hub flowers that we should pick. We find that hub flowers are an important ingredient for mixing chems. We'll get to that later. But for now, the other lock was here in this house. Looks like I could have done a little more scrapping in here. But as we remember this safe. That's it. more ammo and more money great kind of feel bad that I missed some scrapping opportunities in here 
but that's okay. Although, take that TV dinner be tray because it is a source of aluminum. We can scrap all of this later. We're kind of on a bit of a time crunch. We want to make sure we do our cooking and crafting while we still have this bonus. So let's get back to our home base. Go ahead and store our junk. Now, let's see. Twenty-eight bobby pins, that's fantastic. So we have these two jump suits. Oh. We have two pistols, we only need one. Now one thing under apparel, we did not find anything that raises any of our intelligence. So we're just going to have to wear this utility jumpsuit. Hopefully during your playthrough you'll find a lab tech coat. So the lab coat actually gives two intelligence. There's also a hat, the Yushanka hat, that grants one intelligence. So I would make sure and have all of your intelligence boosting items on before you first thing in the morning before you start crafting and, scra and scrapping. So first let's do some cooking. Let's see what kind of cooking we can do. We can make some baked bloatfly. Now as you can see here, we have three, it requires two, so we can make that. And you see we get some XP. And then we can cook all this grilled rad roach. Takes three rad roach. We had 18. So there we go. We get to make all of that. And that's going to be all we have. Although there is one important thing I want to point out is utility. If we, this vegetable starch can be broken down in, for adhesive, which is very important later. Now to craft vegetable starch, you're going to need corn moot fruit, and tatoes. So those are going to be crops that we're going to want to plant very soon. Now one thing I did over here at the armor workbench is remember we do have these jumpsuits and I can adjust the jumpsuit number. So of course we want Vault 33. And that's going to cost us one cloth. And let's go ahead and do the utility jumpsuit as well. Now right now we have no miscellaneous mods for the utility jumpsuit or our regular jumpsuit, but that will change. All right. So now that we're decked out in our Vault 33 jumpsuit, feeling much more comfortable. Let's go explore.
Now, before we leave town here on the right, we do not want to pass up. There's always these two grenades right here. So we always want to get that. As we cross the bridge, look to the right. We're going to want to return here in a little bit. We find this here. We find a dead raider and a wild mongrel. And we are going to remove this tire iron. And we get some good stuff here. And we see the Minuteman statue. If we hop up here, right next to it is a duffel bag. Where we get some 45 rounds and a short revolver pipe rifle. Which will come in very handy. Thank you, Mr. Minuteman. And then we see the Red Rocket. Now before we do, let's favorite this pipe iron, I mean this tire iron. We're going to put it on level on one. And then I want our pistol to be number two. And then I want this revolver rifle to be number four. So that's the way I kind of do the favorites. I do the up close and personal weapons to the left and the long range weapons to the right. But that's just the way I do it. And as we approach Red Rocket, we meet other than dog meat and get a discovery bonus. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy? <laughs> okay then, let's stick together. And there are various commands that we can give. Hey! We can trade. Actually, dog meat does have some carrying capacity you can also tell him to stay or you can even do a How little you talk doing, buddy? we can ask him to fetch never mind we can tell him to stop following us or we can ask for some hey, tricks boy. you know any tricks oh begging that's fantastic okay so here at the red rocket we see that we have another workbench. So we can actually claim Red Rocket as a settlement. And while we're here, we can quickly do some scrapping. Oh, I hear a radio. Need to definitely scrap that. Luckily, it's playing classical music. That shouldn't... Oh. Oh, what? Getting attacked by. Attacked by mole rats. Apparently, there's still some in the vicinity. They usually spawn out in this direction. There it is. So let's get back to, oh, 
I should have mentioned that one earlier too. Okay, so if you hit tab, or at least on the computer you hit tab, that opens and closes your Pit Boy. But if you hold it down, it turns on your flashlight. So let's go back to our scrapping. Oh, some good tools there. Let's get out of this real quick so we can pick up these tools and a stem pack, an adjustable wrench, and another pipe pistol. Now out here, got a lot more scrap, but do not miss right here, the steam packs and one on the ground. Oh, around the corner, we have a new cold machine. You should always look in these as someone has left us a bottle of Nuka-Cola. We also have a chem station here. And lots more stuff to scrap. But we can do that maybe off camera. Let's do a little more investigating. These dumpsters, you can find stuff in here. Same thing with ice machines. And don't miss this. On top, we have a hard hat. We can definitely, which we can definitely wear. As you can see, it gives us plus four damage resistance. And the cook station. Okay, we already. Took care of those mole rats. So let's do a little more scrapping. Get this stuff out of the way. Now we don't want to Definitely don't want to scrap our workstations. There's an armor bench. But what I do want to do is move that chem station around to the side. We do want to scrap These right here, so as you can see, we get fuses, rubber, and vacuum tubes. So good scrap there. You can scrap these whole vehicles. Let's go ahead and grab this and put it around the side with our other workbenches. Well, sometimes it's a little, maybe I'm a bit of a perfectionist. You know, Lucy, she likes to get everything just right. We'll drop it there. Let's go ahead and get this.
definitely going to want these oil can for the oil. And now that we've emptied these, we can scrap these. So back to a little more scrapping. Let's get these cars. The pumps outside. And I will probably not going to take up the video's time. Just with scrapping. Now these giddy up buttercup parts, as you can see, great for springs and screws. Let's go ahead and store that cram. Now around here is another item that we're definitely going to want to scrap is the hot plates because they give you copper circuitry and screws. So hot plates you're definitely going to want. We're getting plenty of plastic and ceramics here. Another great thing to scrap is phones. As you can see more circuitry and fiberglass. Now we're going to want to store these because we can sell them. Toaster, another great scrap item. Gives us some springs. And I'll show you in a little bit why I am clearing out this room. This is going to become an important space for us later. There we go. All nice and cleaned out. And then in this room... Oops, some contents transferred to the workbench. So let's go ahead and get out of this. We get a cap stash. some Radex, and this terminal. And then we see about the Rosa restoration here. Rosa Rid. Widow in Sanctuary Hills is restoring an old classic Corvega with her son. 
that's where our base is. So maybe that explains all of the workbenches there. Sounds like she was doing a pretty good job here. Safe storage. Take care of those barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them along with the others and we'll figure out a long-term solution later. Hey, it's, if nature is going to favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? And then here are their service logs. <laughs> the vault tech salesman brought in the vault tech van. That <laughs> rep is an uppity asshole. He wasn't so bad when he was at the door with us. Just doing his job. So that's it for this terminal, but we got an important piece of information. Before we go, just scrap all of this. We especially want this clipboard. All right. So heard them mention a oh and I guess we can scrap this cash register we get a screw out of that and the contents move to the workbench oh that fan we definitely want that fan So we got a clue about a cave underneath, and that'll be our next stop. Got some good components there. Again, here's the Vault Tech calendar. If you call this number, Vault Tech will answer. I think that's enough scrapping for now. So let's go ahead and store some of this junk that we picked up. That lightens the load. Now let's see here's what they were talking about the cave that's underneath the red rocket outside we'll get all of this in a minute before we go in but let's get ready all right into the mole rat den so this must be the source of all the mole rats that were attacking us outside the red rocket. And we see there's lots of brain fungus for us to harvest. And I would encourage you to harvest as much of it as you can. It is an excellent ingredient. Now we do want to enter slowly because as advertised, there are mole rats in here. Watch out, dog meat. And there's one right there. Now, once you do that, let's back up because what they their favorite tactic is to come up behind you like that.
Looks like we got them all from this first room. Now, around to the right here, I'm going to go ahead and turn on our flashlight. You don't want to miss this. You have the skeleton and right next to it some black rim glasses. We want to take those. Those will give us one plus one to charisma, which is important. Now in here, you want to be careful. This is where they're putting all the radioactive items. And as you can see, we're going to start getting some radioactive activity but there are some goodies in there so there's a couple of things you can do you can actually send dog meat in there and have him fetch and he'll grab the things apparently he's immune to the radiation or we can just get it ourselves and hurry so let's just hurry in there and run what we really want is that fusion core a pipe pistol some 10 mil this note like to congratulate you on winning the 2076 Trash Buster Award for year-to-year -year waste reduction by a single store. Respect the environment. It's an integral part of our corporate image, and we appreciate your innovative events. Yes, innovation meaning, well, we just hide it. <laughs> and so let's hop out of there as quickly as we can. There was, well, here. Okay, so we did take a little bit of radiation damage there. There's lots to loot here. Here is our first mole rat casualty. Don't really need it. Those aren't, well, we didn't really need that bucket either. We have plenty of bone. in there get a melon which is fantastic all right so that's all the looting for this area I believe I've been pretty diligent in getting everything now around this corner it is entirely possible that there is one more mole rat, a rabid mole rat to be exact. So I want to be prepared for that. There it is. some bottle caps out of that and then there's some good scrap here as well wonder glue fantastic you are gonna find that adhesive is gonna be a major sticking point for us some Abraxo that's an excellent component when we start doing some crafting as well Here's a teddy bear. Let's see if it'll let us pick it up. We want to be careful not to drink the water and get radiation. And then we have a safe. That's it. 
All right, and we got some armor, which is great. And some XP. And I believe we have now thoroughly looted the mole rat den. So just making, oh, make sure I don't miss any brain fungus or glowing fungus on the way out. Oh, there's another Abraxo cleaner. We definitely want that. Don't need those bones. All right, should be good. And we come out of the den and we see this water tower. Oh, let's go ahead and make sure that we get all of the goodies here. The coffee pot has the asbestos. Used oil can. I think I see one more tool. Yes, let's get that tool. Never pass up a good tool. Okay, then we have this water tower. Now we do want to be a little bit careful as there are some bloat flies up here. So let's see if we can sneak up to this. Hopefully dog meat will not aggravate them here at the base of the water tower it's chem box there's also some purified water that I grabbed and then we want to look for so see that tower and that tower if you head over in this direction this kind of shallow grave we have the steamer trunk where we get more armor and more goodness. Now, if we head off in this direction, so there's Red Rocket. I'm gonna kinda go off this direction and look for these plants. Irradiated thistle. And then we see right here by these little clump of trees, another safe that's already been opened. And inside, we'll get some more tin mill and a stem pack. Three stem packs. So we're doing great in terms of ammunition and stem packs. So our next stop is going to be over here to the right. Now there's going to be some bloat flies along here. We kind of want to take them one at a time. There's one of them, and then there's the other one. So let's kind of come over in this direction. Now one thing before we get into this, we did pick up some armor, and I want to kind of go over that really quick. Um, as we can see, there's our locksmith perk that we picked up, but we are no longer well rested. So that bonus is over. So as far as apparel, we now, those are the black rim glasses, C plus one charisma. That will help when we do some trading. We have some left arm, right arm, a chest piece, and a left leg. The only problem is we're currently wearing this utility jumpsuit. And if you see the, the flashing part, it shows that this covers your chest, arms, and both legs. So you cannot put armor over the utility jumpsuit. But if you pick the regular vault tech, see how nothing is glowing? You can put that on. And then we can put on all of this armor. And so now, as you can see, we have 11 physical damage, 15 energy damage, and 10 radiation damage. 
as opposed to just the five and the ten. So let's see what we can do about these bloat flies. I'm gonna come around this way. There's that one. Well, the odds aren't great, but let's see how we do. And let's back up, draw him back this way, and let dog meat do some good for us. Yeah. yeah there's the other one. That's not what we want. We want. There, stay di distracted by dog meat. There we go. So we get that carcass. And let's see, where was the other one? I want to say over here somewhere. Sometimes dog meat will actually pick them up for us. Where was the other one, dog meat? Here we go, floating around in the water. We want to be careful. We do not want to drink the water. We do not want any extra rads. See, just by being in the radiated water gave us some rads. So now that we've cleared out those two bloat flies. I hear some voices. Let's get this blood leaf. There's some more blood leaf here. And then we can sprint across and so we can see there's some bugs here. Oh, that's not what we want. We want torso. Let's go ahead and get across here. Wow. That took quite a bit out of us. Maybe it's time for a stim pack. That'll stabilize us. Yep, Lucy is pretty weak here. Another thing we can do to gain back health. Is we can eat some of the food that we've cooked. So remember all the rad roach that we made? Grilled rad roach, let's see. Oh, we drank a beer by accident, darn it. It's not what I wanted to do. So we wasted a beer. Now you can see all this radiation, but what we're after is right there is an army helmet and then there are some goodies inside so to minimize we're going to go ahead and take some rad x rad x helps you resist up to 100 radiation 
So let's run in. We want this helmet. We want the Kims out of here. We want this ammo box, this clipboard, some glowing. And then let's be on our way. All right. So after all of that, let's follow this coastline back to the red rocket. Store all our junk. Now, this is an important thing that I wanted to show you. It's much easier. Here, we want the Abraxo cleaner. to just carry the components that we need. Back to Sanctuary. So what we're gonna do, we don't really need glass, we don't really need any plastic. But we do want that. We do want the leather, it's important, the oil. Don't need, we can leave the steel. And we do want all that copper, wonder glue, and we can leave the wood. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back into this room that we cleared out right here. I'm going to kind of stand here in about the middle of the room. And we're going to go to our junk. And what we're going to do is drop the items that we want to break down. As you can see, the pocket watch for gears and springs. And then we're going to go into workshop mode and then start scrapping all of this.
So it looks like we pretty much got everything. Didn't miss anything. Nothing showed up on the other side of these walls. Oh, something. Oh, Wonder Glue. I'm glad I didn't miss that. Get too adhesive for that. And now we can go back to the warehouse the workshop. Yes, we want all this acid. Seven adhesive. Oh, we're going to need that. That's fantastic. Ballistic fiber. Very important. We'll find out later. Copper. We're going to need that. The cork. The gears. We can leave the leather. We're going to want that. So I would say get used to get used to scrapping down to components. It's a lot easier to carry components than it is the item itself. And as we can see, it's starting to get dark. As we head back to our home base and sanctuary. And we can store all our junk. We now have a pipe rifle. So we have two rifles. You can see that the pipe rifle uses 38 caliber. And we've got a bunch of that. Now we don't need these pipe pistols. So we have a regular pipe revolver and then we have a short. Well, I don't think we want the short version. We want the regular version, so let's store that. Now, as you can see, so Raider Armor, you can see the left leg for Raider Armor gives you two energy resistance and two physical resistance, but the leather left leg gives you two and five. So Leather armor is always better, almost always better than Raider armor. So let's store that. Let's go ahead and store all this brain fungus. These actually... As you can see, the waters actually weigh half a pound. So that's, as do the, uh, the Nuka-Colas, weigh a whole pound. You can see there is some benefit to the Nuka-Cola, not so much to the water. So if you get it, also stem do not weigh anything, so you can carry as many as you want. There's our miscellaneous, 28 bobby pans. And then mods do actually have some weight. As you can see, this one weighs half a pound, so let's make sure and store it. And then ammunition doesn't weigh anything, including the fusion core, so you can carry all of that that you want. Looks like we're doing pretty well as far as ammunition goes. So there we are. And back home and time for a sleep. So thanks for following along. If you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to give the video a thumbs up like. It really helps the algorithm. I do appreciate all the columns comments that you leave. So please leave a comment. Let me know 
how you're enjoying this so far. Do you think I'm doing a pretty good job of portraying Lucy in the Wasteland or not? If there's any game concepts that you have questions about or you feel I haven't covered, please ask those questions. Be happy to hear them. And it would be really great if now that you've watched two of the episodes in this playlist, if you haven't taken the time to subscribe, please do. The the subs really help. Uh, The site is not monetized. So uh, anything that you can do to help the site is greatly appreciated. So we'll go to our bed. We see it's 8 o'clock at night. If we were to sleep 12 hours, that would be 8 o'clock in the morning. I think I want to start at 6. Well, we'll start at 5 a.m. So there we go. We'll sleep 9 hours. 8 hours or more is what's going to give us the well-rested bonus.